I'm going to demonstrate using a model on the bench top how to make a temporary crown using the GC America Temp Smart BIS GMA material. You always need to make a matrix. I personally like the GC America Exa Fast uh, polyvinyl siloxane putty. Uh, when you use this, make sure you mix it thoroughly and well and evenly and adapt it well to the tooth to which you'd like to replicate. Once it is set up, you now have a matrix that has great detail and performs nicely using the GC America Temp Smart temporary material. It comes packaged very similar to other materials, has a dual cartridge um, carrier that when placed into a extrusion gun with the proper tip in place will allow proper mixing of the materials to allow the adequate setting and strength of the material. So remove the cap, place the tip on it once it's in the gun, and you can now easily place it into the matrix. I think an important part to remember is extruding a little bit of the material into a little dollop on your tray or countertop. This allows you to make sure everything's mixed well before you put it into the matrix and also test later when you feel the material set up adequately to remove from the mouth. Um, so you can see that little dollop and now we've added to the matrix in the in the lab or on the bench top we've added a little bit of separating medium to the model so that it releases from the model more easily. Once the adequate setting time has uh, accomplished, you can remove the matrix and you will see that you have a nice, beautiful temporary crown. Um, we go ahead and cure both sides of the crown at least five seconds each. It's one thing nice about this material is it is a dual cure. Um, you then remove the excess or flash and carefully with a hemostat you can now remove the crown from the model or in your case from the mouth. Uh, once you've removed it, I go ahead and use a polishing wheel. Some people use a Moore sandpaper disc. I like a silicone, aluma silicate wheel in a lab hand piece. It gives me great control. Um, again, you can cure it just to make sure everything is set and ready to go. Once you've done that, Again, take that wheel in a mandrel and polish away. I like to polish close up to where the margin is visible. Um, blending that into the surface of the tooth very nicely keeps everything very smooth and cleansable. Um, once you've got that completed, um, I will always marginate my crowns. First, I'll check it just to verify that I've seated it all the way, that it were close to a good replica of what a provisional should look like. Um, in this case, you remove it using the, the Premio bond. We add a little bonding agent to the margin. Just enough, actually I add a little bit around the facial and lingual as well, and then carefully add a flowable composite. Uh, this is Genial from GC America as well. Once it's added on, we put it back onto the model and with a light curing unit, again, cure that so that it is a solid um, provisional. Once the provisional is cured, we'll remove it carefully from the model. Um, you can see here using some hemostats. We'll then return to the polishing wheel or the alumina silicate wheel and polish it so it's nice and smooth transition from the facial, lingual, and proximal surfaces, ensuring there's no flash. Uh, once we get this all completed, we then usually polish it with a rag wheel and pumice and water. Once it's completed, try it on the model or the tooth and make sure that the margins are sealed. As you can see, this makes a beautiful, nice shine and polished uh, provisional. It fits well and adapts well to the model.